morning, everybody. I hope you're having a lovely setup. And I'm here with Minister Mark Hansen at the TV show section of ICT Spring. Mark Hansen, you are minister, amongst other things, for digitalization. So in that role, COVID-19, it really seemed to accelerate the digitalization of so many processes. What did you observe? Yeah, in fact, it was an, uh, a booster, the pandemic, for the digital world here in Luxembourg, also concerning e-government. I think uh, before COVID-19, just to uh, tell you, we had uh, at our portal, uh, mygishe.lu, uh, we had about 350,000 transmissions, so administrative procedures done by citizens or companies, uh, and during uh, the year 2021, we had 3.8 million transmissions. You see really an, an, an increase, and it was, of course, it was uh, administrative procedures linked to COVID-19, like um, the vaccination uh, portal or others, but we had also an increase of all the procedures not related to COVID-19, uh, so it was a real boost. And on the other hand, being the Minister for Civil Service, we had also a boost as everybody uh, concerning the Home Office. Uh, um, before the pandemic, uh, we had uh, for the civil servants uh, a project with 169 persons being in the Home Office. So it was a pilot. Uh, after the COVID-19, we had thousands of people being in the home office, not only for the civil service, but we had from one day to the other, all the pupils, the teachers, the civil servants turning to home office. And I think uh, it will remain one of our main topics, also the home office in the civil service in the country. Uh, and these are just two cases to, to show you uh, how the digitalization was boosted and pushed uh, and that we had, of course, uh, some lessons learned that we have built on all the experience that we had during the COVID-19 to improve our relationship to the companies, to the citizens, uh, and to work on that one uh, during the next years. So an absolute step change there with so many of these processes staying in place now as we move forward. Yeah. Now, we also, we're sitting here in ICT Springs, so not talking to the audience I'm about to talk about, but amongst your, the population, there's sometimes some digital mistrust. As Minister Delegate for Digitalization, how do you address any digital mistrust? Yeah, I, I, I would say that perhaps the word mistrust is not really appropriate. We had, before the pandemic, um, we had an... Um, an opinion a survey uh, done and we uh, had the return that the majority of the uh, people, they really believed in the digitalization, that it could uh, make their life, their work easier. And they trusted, in fact, the state and they trusted what we did. So they, they said that the public service was well prepared for the digitalization. That was already before the pandemic. So this is a relationship um, which is built on the long-term trust between citizens and the state. And on that information, we had to build our future, um, our future procedures that we want to adapt to the actual uh, situation. So we had also in that um, survey, we find out that 94% of the people trusted uh, the guichet.lu or the myguichet.lu uh, portal. Uh, so that is a real trust that the people have in the state. This trust has to be built uh, for all the people who are already, let's say, connected. But we have also, as state and as uh, public service, we had also and have to, um, to work for all the people who are not really connected. So we have one of the strategic axes of our ministry is the digital inclusion. And during the last year, we worked out a national inclusion plan with 40 concrete measures and actions uh, to help all the people who have perhaps mistrust, who are not as capable as other people, to help them to get in the digital boat. So for uh, to name perhaps a few of the concrete actions, we have skilling programs, reskilling programs, programs for elder people. So train the trainers. We had a an, um, an collaboration with an organization who organizes uh, courses for the elder people, organizes 
for the people working with elder people or also with younger people to show them uh, the digital world that they uh, learn how to handle it. And then we had uh, in the different ministries 40 concrete actions uh, and I think that will help us in the inclusion of all the people in Luxembourg so that the digitalization uh, can really become a success story. And moving on to other things that you have inaugurated, GovTech Lab last March, aiming at, as you say, fostering creativity and improving innovation within public institutions. Could you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, the GovTech Lab is, uh, in fact, it's a great idea. We have uh, the IT center of uh, the Luxembourgish uh, government, the CTIE, together with the ministry, we developed this GovTech Lab. Uh, and to summarize it, it is uh, around the three words, innovate, experiment, um, and to exchange. So we, we, we try that the public service exchanges with the private service. We put our challenges, we say, hey, uh, we are the state, we have a solution to find, but there are already solutions out there in the private sector. So this is our challenge. This is the money we put in. Please help us to develop uh, a new product for the public service. I can uh, stress out perhaps two or three initiatives that uh, are actually the, the actual challenges. We have a Trust My Data challenge where we uh, try uh, to give out really uh, verifiable uh, documents by the state. So uh, to put in, for instance, a certificate uh, for residents uh, in that challenge. Another challenge is a, a virtual um, meeting um, opportunity. So we learned everything about video conferences during the last years, but now perhaps uh, coming back to the real world, uh, people want to have an exchange with the administrations. They can go to the physical counter or they can use a virtual meeting and a virtual appointment with a civil servant. So there we are developing now uh, within a new challenge uh, an opportunity that we can build it in our portal uh, guichet.lu, myguichet.lu, so you can have a virtual appointment with a civil servant. And these are two challenges uh, that I could stress out now. Uh, and we have plenty of opportunities we exchange with um, uh, startups, we exchange with researchers, we put civil servants in our GovTech lab. We have also a real lab there where they can meet, that, where we can exchange uh, explanations, exchange information, and it works quite great, and I'm really happy that we uh, put it in place. I think that sounds like a wonderful opportunity, and you're really sitting in the environment. I mean, right behind us is List, and I know that they have fantastic innovators there as well, great science minds. So, so I, I can say this is, in fact, a really big lab, a future lab, this ICT Spring, and is a really big opportunity for people to exchange, and I find it really great, and it's an, a nice opportunity to, to meet again, uh, really uh, to see uh, each other again. I think this is great what they did. I think so many people are delighted to be seeing one another again this year. It seems to have opened up in the last couple of months. Now, returning to my final question, which is really about next year, it's election year. You've had a very successful number of years so far, but on reflection, tell us about what you're most proud of in your role for digitalization and what you want to achieve before election year. So <clears throat> I am really proud to have great teams we built up this ministry. I always uh, called it a ministerial start-up. At the beginning, we had two people working in the ministry. It was the Prime Minister, Mr. Buttel, and myself. Afterwards, we joined 30 people in the ministry, 500 in our IT center, and they achieved really huge goals during the pandemic. I am really proud to have them. We had uh, really pressure. We had a difficult situation, and the state uh, continued to function. And I think... That's the most important thing that I have. Great innovators, great people in the ministry and in our IT center. And with all these people, I'm sure that we can achieve everything to innovate, to become really a digitalized world here in Luxembourg. I think we had already big steps. I think compared internationally, we are not bad here in Luxembourg in the e-government uh, part of the digitalization. Uh, we created, as we talked about this GovTech lab, I think it uh, was a huge step uh, 
to exchange with the private uh, sector. We had uh, the different ministries being really digitalized, uh, people working and uh, digitalizing everything in the state, and we have to continue. Uh, and uh, I think it's a never-ending story. And for next year, what are your hopes in election year? What's your dream job? I'm doing actually a dream job. Uh, I'm the Delegate Minister for Digitalization. It's a great job. It is a job created uh, by this uh, government when we took office. I think that's the dream job. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, it would be a pleasure for me to continue. Minister, thank you so much for your time. As Thanks. a final message, would you like to say anything to all of the digital minds here at ICT Spring? Stay creative, continue on that way. I think this is the way we have to work. This is what we have to show to the whole world. Be proud of what you do every day and continue to do it. Uh, let's have pleasure while we do the digitalization of Luxembourg. Minister Hansen, thank you so much for thank coming here this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, great. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.